guys, I'm at another Dollar General location and it looks like they are getting ready for Christmas. They have put out some of the $1 Christmas ornaments. That's right, I look forward to the $1 Christmas ornaments. And this year they're giving us more gingy. And I love that and I hope Dollar Tree follows suit. So these are like, um, what would you call them? Stuffed Christmas ornaments. Uh, there's not a gingy but this is the gingy color we get it you see the gingy icing swirl we know what it is so there is a christmas tree a ornament and a christmas stocking they have these like faux baked cookie ornaments snowman looks really kind of cute you also can use these for wreath embellishments this this uh star looks like a cut out christmas cookie with icing they have these little signs, oh so merry, with the bell on the end. This one says Noel. The season to be jolly. Tis the season to be jolly. And then they have some stuffed gnome ornaments. They have the truck, of course they have the truck, and they have the three pups in the back. They have the felt stuffed reindeer. And it looks like the same reindeer. Either you can get a red bow, white bow. They have some wood um, or particle board, whatever you want to call it. Uh, snowflakes ornaments. They have Santa. Really good. Guys, their one dollar decor cannot be beat. I bring you guys here every year. It cannot be beat. And the snowman also. They also have these stockings that have some faux greenery with berries, a mini pine cone. Not feeling these, but these are also stuffed ornaments. The white one says Noel. The green one says Joy. They have the bells, which they have had every year. They have this ornament, this material, okay, with red cardinals and reindeer. This, I don't know, the, the texture feels funny to me. And they have the truck, one says Merry Christmas. And the green one says Winter Blessings. A lot of stuffed ornaments. I don't. <laughs> they like, girl, we ain't thinking about you, but <clears throat> I'm not a fan. But these are just various, like, faux sweater stockings. They do have the gingerbread brown wood snowflakes. And this kind of matches where they're bringing that pink into gingy. As much as I like pink, this is a pretty aqua blue. I rather have the traditional Christmas. So these are more stuffed. Christmas ornaments looks like gingy houses they have the nutcrackers I don't know how I feel about these either and they have the Christmas faux candy canes they have some gold for those that have the glam theme I used to do gold silver one year my colors were gold silver and white a couple of years but this is nice even for just tabletop decor or using it to style around your house they have these holly berries in gold and silver they have the bells in gold and red this is just a repeat they even have these angels of silver and white is your color the silver ones say joy the gold ones say noel they have the initial ornaments never have any never have an E. Uh, oh, <laughs> excuse me. They have an E. <laughs> so they have those. And then they have these metal tag signs. Perfect wreath embellishments. Merry and bright. Sleigh bells ring. It looks like the same. Oh, tis the season to be jolly. I know they don't have the space and they have to make room, but it's kind of hard when everything's together. They have the mistletoe with the gold design. Then they have these, Lord, I don't know, whoever was making these at the sweatshop, they just, they were tired. So they have these Christmas ornaments. <laughs> the back is wood, okay? And then they have the Santa heads, which they have had last year, but not this. This is a different variation. And then they have these. I'm a chalkboard. Okay, so they have this reindeer. 
You could use these as table settings on a table, put the person's name where they sit. Just an idea, because the chalkboard is not that big for much else. So either you can get the red or green. So those are the only um, $1 ornaments besides these, these sweet treat ones. And you definitely can use this on a DIY. Again, I just keep it red and white for me. Keep it red and white for me. For me. We did see a, all of the party. I will put the link to that shop with me. But we did see all of the entertaining. But I will go through to make sure that this store didn't show something that I did not see. For $3, they have these ornaments. And you're getting one, two, three, four, five. Five for three, even though they are pretty. I love the detail. I just feel like you can do better. I really feel like you can do better. I hope you feel like you can do better. There's somewhat blue and silver, and that blue is like a turquoise. So, yeah, I, you know, I understand the embellishment and the extra detail, but I think you can do better. Then, $3 for this, you're getting only 16 and they're not that big. Here are the colors. And then for $3, they love that number. They have the mini ornaments. And I found some, if you have a roses next to you, I found mini ornaments last year at roses for a dollar something. So I would check there first if you have a roses discount near you. Unrelated to Christmas, they have these. This would be great for mini cheesecakes, the Jello No Big Cheesecakes. This is a graham cracker mini pie crust. Don't always see these. Oh, and in the back, they have the red, white, and green candy canes. So they have the red and white in the front and the red, white, and green. And up top, they have these pillows, guys. I'm not about to hurt myself trying to find out. Probably the ones we've seen at the other store. And I'm going to go through these because I do see a couple of pieces that I did not see at the other location. Okay, so these mini jars, the other location did not have. They're calling this a glass canister. And they have different tops, so either you can get the pine cone top the nutcracker top or the snowflake top we have seen these mugs but I did not see these frosted clear ones that say joy they seem pretty heavy and these are three dollars but we've seen all of the other mugs we've seen the mailboxes we've seen the tens and the tens to me are priced a little bit high at three dollars But again, I don't think I've, we've seen this mug. I think I remember this one that says Merry Christmas, but this also says Merry Christmas. Just seems like classic Christmas. And they have this one with the stripes that says Merry Christmas. I just said to myself, if this is a dollar, I'm gonna fall on the floor. And this is a dollar. Look at this really cute, they're calling it a plastic tree plate. So they have it in gold. And they also have green. The green is a little bit bright, but they also have green. No red. I'm not seeing red. And these are a dollar, guys. Would you use this for a plate? Or I would use it as a small serving platter. I did not see at the other location this soup mug. And it says home for the holidays. If you were lucky enough to find any of those um, soup mixes, maybe you can make a soup gift. Put some crackers in there and stuff like that really really nice not seeing another pattern and they also have these monogram mugs already packaged in a gift box i don't know i think you could do better um okay let's look and see what these are probably seen these plates yes we did see these melamine plates that say Merry Christmas, they are a dollar. We did see these metal trays. And I'll put the link to that shot with me, guys. I don't want to spend time on uh, repeat things that we've seen. I'll put the link to the first video. And they have the charging plates. We're we looking in the box. The box is open, so we have the right. So they have the door covers. Oh, the gingy one! All right, guys, in the box, they are, honey, this, so there's door covers for a dollar. This one says, welcome to the North Pole. 
and this one is a gingy one for one dollar get in my cart and my front door this might go on the front door or I might see if I can use this as a banner I don't know but it's coming home with me what else is in here so they have some light up bracelets oh what are these some little ugly things mini icons <laughs> Christmas headbands for a dollar. Check here for them, guys. I know Dollar Tree has some nice ones, but if you could save some money. All right, I'm not going to keep you guys doing this. If I see something else exciting off camera, I will share it. For one dollar, they have this wind up train set, and it has in the back uh, two snowmen and a gingy in the middle. The sweetest holiday. I don't know how well these work, but only one dollar for the set. And the light up bracelets, they have a gingy one, Santa, and a snowman. They have the cookie for Santa plates that we've seen. So it's a cookie plate plus a milk mug for $5, which is comparable. And they also have the Christmas color um, Starbucks soup tumblers. Either you can get the red on top, green on the bottom or they have the green on the bottom red on top which we've seen and these are five for one dollar they have some christmas lights old school remember these bulbs a uh, christmas light solar hanging bulbs for a dollar okay i'm seeing red yellow blue and green they also have these multicolored lights but you will require electricity for those they have some mini light sets for 275 two dollars i mean personally i would check walmart or something like that uh, more lights solar lights so Christmas solar lights these ones with the snowflakes are one dollar and then you have some snowman ones for two here I am spying because I want to know what's coming so I don't waste my time I like that this one is in color they're gonna have some things for your pets I love Santa those are gonna be two dollars I'm just looking to see if I see any more gingy stuff. And here are all of their ornaments. So we didn't see most of this stuff, y'all. It's not a clear picture, but I'm sorry. I'm just spying. These garland ties are a dollar, and Dollar Tree does sell them, but if you can get them here, you're getting 10. I don't remember offhand how much Dollar Tree gives, but these can help fill in um, that sparse Christmas tree they give us at Dollar Tree. And I'm seeing some fake snow. Well, decorative snow sheet, okay, $1. And then they have decorative fluff for $3. $5, they have these $5 kickstand signs. There's a kickstand in the back. This one says, Oh Christmas Tree and Joy to the World. Okay, so we're down the $1 aisle and we're searching for new goodies, new goodies, new goodies, and they have new goodies. So we all know this dish soap, which is now allegedly going to be at Dollar Tree, but if you have, it, which is great for those of you who, when I do these videos, say, I wish I had a Dollar General next to me. At least you'll get to try it because it is pretty decent. I have so many bottles of it, and as you can see, they are stocked for days. Well, guess what just dropped? The lemon one. And there is a Dawn Powerhouse lemon uh, dish spray, which I didn't know Dawn had different scents. I seen a Dawn lemon scented one and a Dawn apple scented one. Well, Dollar General just dropped the foaming dish spray in the lemon mist scent. I found it at another location and I picked up two bottles. It smells good. So be on the lookout for that guys. And they are stocked for days. But other than that, I'm not seeing any of the new Wizard air fresheners that Dollar Tree just dropped. Not seeing that. I'm curious because I have been seeing this Glade in multiple stores down the $1 aisle. So if it's a dollar and I like the way it smells, I will get it. And this could be my fall spray for downstairs. I don't know. Because sometimes people put, or they put things in the wrong spot. So I'll figure it out. You'll see it in the hole if it if it's a dollar. I did a sneak spray and this smells really, really good. But other than that, guys, again, you see the handy wrap here. 
they're okay. I mean, they're comparable to Shore Fresh. Um, they have the Yardley. <clears throat> this is a new version of the Yardley makeup wipes. Did I ever see Yardley makeup wipes? Or am I thinking of the big ones? This is deep cleansing facial towelettes with hyaluronic acid. Reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Alleviates dry skin. Speeds up wound healing. 25 wipes. I think this might be a new item. They do have the washcloths here that we see at Dollar Tree. They even have a diamond pumice stone. Been seeing this in the um, at locations. I've been seeing this before. This is an anti-itch cream from Lucky. And they have the kids toothbrushes that we see at Dollar Tree. I've started seeing Guru Nanda down the $1 aisle. They have the two-pack AIM toothbrushes. This lotion right here is pretty decent for $1. It's from Personal Care. This foaming hand soap smells amazing. Found it at another location. I didn't buy it, but I did a sneak sniff. And they don't have all of the toothpaste varieties, but I know this doesn't belong here. Somebody came down here and changed their mind, but they do have some toothpaste for a dollar. This looks new to me from Ultra Bright. Baking soda and peroxide whitening. I'm not sure if Dollar Tree sells um, that. But they have cold medicine, gas medicine, uh, ibuprofen, this large thing of petroleum jelly from Lucky. So you guys can come here and save money. Okay, guys. Time for the haul. I was surprised. I was surprised when I went into Dollar General. I was looking for one thing and I found another. So they started putting out Christmas. In yesterday's video, I went through all of the Christmas kitchen items, the, I guess, entertaining. They had the tins and stuff like that. The tins, I feel, are overpriced. I'm comparing them to Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree gives beautiful tins. They even have some gingy ones for $1.25 as opposed to three. So I would hold off on the ten, tins. And today we... In this video, we started to see the ornaments. And from my spying in that catalog, they're pretty much what they give every year. They did have some cute ones, especially if you make wreaths or you want to embellish your own wreath or start to make a wreath or add to an existing wreath you buy in the store. They had some cute things. Some of those wooden ornaments were really, really nice, but I did not get them. I'm happy to see more gingy items because this is Gingy World. I got hooked last year, and I'm excited to build to my collection. However, with the addition of the pink and blue, and even though, even at Hobby Lobby, I have seen some pink gingy um, items, but Hobby Lobby also is giving you the traditional red, green, and white. You know what I mean? So that ruined it for me, but I did see a couple of things that I wanted a couple. I did not get a lot yet, guys. And my Dollar Generals, I'm learning, is just like Dollar Tree. Every store is different. The beauty is I have so many Dollar Generals in town. So many. We have tons of Dollar Generals. I mean, right here in Greenville alone. And then when I leave town, I can't go to a town, pass through a town without a Dollar General. Some towns, that's all they have. I tell you that all the time. But these wooden spoons with the sayings in it. I wish the saying was a little darker, but I love them. And these will be for display, not for use. Um, so this one says, holidays are what you bake them. And I might add some gingy detail to this, so stay tuned. Um, I have an idea. Um, this is giving me totally gingy vibes, even though it's nothing gingerbread on it. And then this one says, I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. And I have found... Uh, gingy decor with this saying last year. So this is giving me gingy vibes. I love the red and green handles. Those are nice and vibrant. These will be on display and I might add some gingy detail to them. So stay tuned. A dollar each, guys. These I thought were a great deal and if you're giving a kitchen basket or like I said housewarming because my sister's moving into our house. Next month the house should be finished. You can give somebody something for all year. You could add seasonal decor to a housewarming basket. You don't have to just give the, oh, let me get them a set of towels or let me get them some dishes. You can really do what you want for a gift. Um, if you're making base, 
baking baskets and you're buying like cake mixes or pans or whatever you're doing. You know, we've seen um, people get like a seasonal um, pot holder and then they stuff spatulas and stuff like that. These come already decorated. You're getting two cookie cutters. So a parent gingy and a baby gingy. And then you're getting the spatula that has the gingy on it. Absolutely love these. For a dollar, you can't, you can't go wrong. How could you go wrong? And these, pick through these guys because they're not perfect. They're a dollar, but from shipping and the way they package, some things get scuffed up. So these are melamine, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, platters in the shape of a Christmas tree. Actually, I'm saying platters. They are calling these plates. I would use these as serving platters, okay? You can have one at each end of the table. I'm surprised they did not have red. However, I could have got there too late and somebody bought all the red, okay? They're going to use these as plates and they wanted a set of six. All I seen was the green and the gold, okay? Which is fine because I'm going to have a lot of red. So I picked up one of each. Again, I'm using these as serving platters. You can use these as gift packaging if you bake cookies, what a way to place your cookies and then wrap them with this platter. So they're getting the cookies and then they have a platter or plate, whatever you want to call it, that they can use, you know, year after year if they take care of them. Just like on the sides, you see some imperfections, but that's just from, from shipping, guys, okay? And I picked through. I like getting things when they first put them out because I can pick through and be picky. But when you get there and this is all they have left, you have to kind of, if you want to take what you want. But I think these are great for a dollar. And I was not expecting this. I don't remember these last year. And I've been going to Dollar General for many seasons. If you've been rocking with me, I always take you there. Look at the gingerbread door covers. Now, my door that I use on a regular basis is not a solid door. And I like having the ability to see outside especially when somebody knocks on the door however my front door is solid but i don't really decorate the front and the back the back my patio area becomes candy land so i kind of want this in the back i have a feeling it's 30 inches which is not that wide by 70 inches so i may use this as a banner i could put this I, I have a place where I can put it. So I did pick it up for a dollar. Are you kidding me? And I don't mind the blue because that's the sky. Okay, that's a difference. You see the traditional red, green, and white. Now, maybe if they had some blue and some pink in there, that kind of would have turned me off a little bit. But that's a blue sky. And it says, Happy Holidays. So I did get two. I got one for me and one to share. Just like I got one of these to share with somebody. And I'm keeping one for myself. Okay. So, guys, from the Christmas items so far, that's all I got. The mugs were cute, but I did get a four-pack of Gingy mugs last year, and I never drank from them. I'm kind of holding out. Now that we might be getting, seeing some Christmas stuff from the 99-cent store, since Dollar Tree took them over, and we got the pumpkin mugs, they gave the ghost mugs, and they gave the skull mugs. Speaking of which, not related to Christmas, but I'm putting the word out because I'm on my way to Walmart. It's really early in the morning, guys, when I'm taping this. It's, I don't even know if it's 6 o'clock yet. Your girl's up early. I'm an early riser. If you did not find those ghost mugs at Dollar Tree, Walmart has them. You're getting four for $9.99, and it comes on a, a storage rack. You cannot beat that. And these are cute because the ghosts have different expressions on their face. They also have a set of four pumpkin ones. So I'm going to put pictures on the screen. Walmart has them in stock. You can order them online, but... Be quick because they sell out. They've sold out already in their back. But I got, for Christmas, they give Christmas ones. So I got four gingy mugs on the storage rack for $9.99. So I don't really need a gingy mug. But those mugs with the cookie holders that we seen in part one, absolutely so cute. And if they had a gingy one, you know it would have been coming with me. I was going to get that gingy one, but I'm holding off. I'm holding off. I think their mugs are a great price for $3, but that's all I got for Christmas. And from the $1 aisle, guys, you know, as long as they sell these plates, these will always be a repurchase. You're getting 20 plates for a dollar. Are they the thickest? No, don't expect thick, heavy duty plates. However, I can get away with using just one. 
okay? Your brother-in-law, what he does is he uses these for everything, and it drives me crazy. He uses this as a bowl cover, like if he's making his famous coleslaw that he loves, he'll take a plate and put it on top of the coleslaw bowl instead of a Tupperware lid. I mean, that's wasteful. Don't waste my plates. If you want to do that, you need to contribute to the plate fund. I actually got four packs of these because these come and go. Sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. So I'm pretty well stocked up on paper plates. Who had a good sale on paper plates? Lidl has a good sale on paper plates and paper towels. I need to get there. Okay, so we all loved the first version of this dish spray. Well, they gave us a lemon mist scent, and guys, it smells good. Now, I love the powerhouse from Dollar Tree, but if I'm being honest, if you have tough grease, this is going to do the job better. The powerhouse at Dollar Tree works. It, it, it's good. But if you have something really greasy and it smells, it smells lemony, it smells good. I like this scent better than the first one. Now, I have tons of the first one in my little stash, but I will be collecting the lemon scented one because I love the way it smells. Um, I know Dollar Tree selling the regular version now. So for those of you who comment, I wish I had Dollar General near me. I don't have a Dollar General near me. You will get to try this. 25 cents more, but still, for $1.25, it's still worth it. So this is from Homebright. And this is the bonus size because when they first dropped it, we were only getting 10 ounces. Now we get 12. So I picked that up. And this... This is a dollar. I have been seeing Glade in the one dollar aisle, but I've been ignoring it because I hate carrying things to the register thinking they're a dollar because they're in the one dollar aisle. They used to match the price. So if, if the manager went back there and checked and let's say it was five, six bottles, she would give it to me for a dollar because that was her staff's error on putting something in the wrong spot. Now they don't do that anymore. So I wasn't going to waste my time, but I said because this is oak, and you see the maple leaves, you know, a nice full air freshener for the bathroom being I'm not seeing any pumpkin ones. Dollar Tree just jumped right to Christmas, which I'm fine with. I grabbed them up. But um, so I did get it and it does smell good. So I will go back and get more. And the last thing that I, I get now that I stopped buying at Dollar Tree are the plastic cups. I'm getting 16 plastic cups for a dollar. I do not mind these cups. There is another version of plastic. Yeah, there's, these are two different cups. No, they're the same. There's another version of plastic cups that they have for a dollar, a count of 16. Why not? Why not save that quarter? Because we all know that quarter adds up. And um, I this is, this is where I get my plates from. I used to get the Dollar Tree 15 count paper plates, but I'm getting five more plates, less money, and I'm saving money on the cups. So... I hope you enjoyed the shop with me. I will be checking Dollar General. I will be checking for more items, and I will bring you another video. Stay tuned. We are going to announce the August Monthly Wow winner and also the barbecue winner. Finally, finally, I told you guys I was going to be picking a winner, random comment selector from that Dollar General holiday walkthrough um, that I did. Okay, for those of you who tuned in for that video, um, I told you I was going to pick a winner from that and I, I'm sorry with the vacation and everything and my Dollar Tree addiction, time got away from me. Um, but stay tuned for the winners. Thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. Join my cyber family. I would love to have you. And for my returning subscribers, I love you guys. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for rocking with your girl. I'll see you in the next video. I have an amazing Dollar Tree shot with me. More new arrivals scheduled for tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Congratulations at Greg Dean dash SD8. OM, you won the August Monthly Wow. And N Gonzalez 345. Congratulations. You won the Dollar General Barbecue Giveaway. Email me, guys, and claim your prize. Thank you all.